Hi, my name is David Keegan. I'm a family doctor and professor of family medicine at the Cummings School of Medicine at the University of Calgary. I'm here to talk to you about how long COVID is bad. Many of us have heard about long COVID. It's a bit of a catch-all phrase. That means things like COVID that never goes away or after you've had COVID, symptoms like headaches and fatigue. It also includes increased risk of other diseases from COVID. And also COVID itself appears to be directly damaging people's immune systems, leaving them wide open to more infections of all sorts of different things in the future. Long COVID is bad. Now there's research to show this, that long COVID is a real thing. I'm just gonna pull up one right now. So this is from a, a study by uh, Bo and group called acute and post-acute sequelae associated with SARS-CoV-2 reinfection. So these, this shows people with one, two, or three infections, how much more likely they are to have different conditions. So for instance, looking at fatigue down here, if you have one infection of COVID, it looks like you're maybe approximately 30% uh, likely to have ongoing fatigue, more likely than if you hadn't had one infection of COVID. But if you have two infections, you're starting to look at it's more than doubled risk. And if you've had three or more infections, you've got over a three times risk of ending up with long-term fatigue compared to if you never had COVID in the first place. But these sorts of numbers and bars and stuff you know, you wonder, do they translate into people's real experience? Well, I'm a family doctor, and I can tell you, in the past two years, I've seen and treated more patients with blood clots in their lungs or their legs than I've treated in the previous 25 years of my work as a family doctor. That's incredible. In the past two years, I've seen more people with new inflammatory arthritis than in the past 25 years of my practice. I've seen way more people in the last year or two with really strange chest pain, uh, possibly related to what's called coronary vasospastic angina, way more people with unusual chest pain in the past year, year and a half than I've seen and had to you know, work on them and figure out diagnoses for them in the past previous 25 years as a family doctor. So we're seeing lots of people turning up in our clinics with all sorts of complex disease and conditions. Long COVID is real. And the best way you can prevent it is preventing getting COVID in the first place. And how do you do that? Always wear good quality masks like N95 or equivalent or better. Ventilate your area as much as possible. Filter the air and ask for air filtration in your schools and workplaces. And also by asking for policies for isolation and paid sick leave from governments. Together, all these things will help prevent COVID dramatically. By preventing COVID, you prevent long COVID. So please, long COVID, it's real, it's bad, it's really bad. Please do what you can to prevent yourself from getting COVID in the first place and to prevent other people from getting COVID as well. Take care, bye-bye.